it's um, it's a story that that really looks at what it is to be other, what it means to be to be an outsider, not not in the center, and and how you cope with that. So. It's very contemporary in the sense that there are millions of people in the world now who feel outside, who are refugees of some sort or another, whether physical refugees or sort of emotional, psychological refugees, where they, they, they don't quite fit in. And and this story is, is really about the, the journey of Mowgli to fight to find how he fits in to two very complex changing worlds. I think in terms of complex, obviously we've seen wonderful motion capture before, but I think um, having human faces transposed into animals is, is another level to that. Can you talk a little bit about your decision to do that and the wonderful cast you have assembled? I mean, we're blessed with, with perhaps one of the best you know, casts ever, I think, really, in terms of uh, this material. And they all came to it because they loved the story and the approach to the story. But... Um, crucially they, they wanted to expand their repertoire as actors actually and explore what it is to be other to become something else you know a long distance away from yourself but at the same time bringing your own humanity to the role so we designed every single one of these characters with the with the actors in mind um, they were cr all, all the I didn't want to just have voices implanted into kind of photo realistic looking animals it would be crazy we wanted we wanted them to perform this is a drama which half of which the story is told by actors who are animals so so it's it's, it's, it, was cru it was the only way to do it, to, to get that level of believability and, and emotion into the story. I mean, it's all about who you think is right for the character, who is who's the quintessential essence of what they are, especially for the animal roles. It's like, who, you know, who, for instance, the first person I cast was Peter Mullen to play Aquila because I could not get out of my mind, my head, the, the, his voice and his stoicism, his kind of granite face as a, as a, as a leader of a wolf pack, um, but an egalitarian leader who, who cares for the whole and isn't just a sort of a, 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 sort of a kingly leader, but more of a, a man of the people. That, so, so you think about things like that. Um, um, you know, for, ben for Benedict to play Shere Khan, it was it was. There's a tiger that is full of rage and, and but also impotence, and so there's a frustration that comes with, with his anger and his hatred of man. To do the fact that he's lame in one foot and that can't hunt, and so he has to kill man's cattle, and by doing that, he brings danger into the jungle. So they're very. All of the animal characters have their own psychology, their own um, you know their own em emotions and their own motivations. So so you need really good actors to be able to pull that off. And then of course at the centre of it is this young man who's who's just phenomenal. I mean, he truly, I, I, he really embodies what it, what Mowgli is all about. I mean, he really put himself through it. It's a very, it was a long and arduous process, um, tough shoot for him physically, um, emotionally. I pushed him really, really hard, and uh, he's just delivered the most extraordinary performance. I, I think the third part of the movie is is, is actually all human human beings it's the village which you never normally see in a jungle book adaptation it's normally you know the just the jungle and we sort of leave them as Mowgli goes to to be a man in the village um, there's a really uh, there's a beautiful uh, holy festival scene where where the where Mowgli is becoming assimilated into the world of man and I, I, I think it's it's really a real beautiful contrast to to the savagery of the jungle